Okay. Now I'm actually mad with the gearbox because I just beat. I know the game's old, but I just beat Rhyme R I M E. I just beat that game, and I beat it via the Xbox, not the Switch, which is where I really wanted to play it. But unfortunately, the Switch version of it is like playing the PC ver. Excuse me, the uh, day one PC version of Batman Arkham Knight. It is bad. And this is where third-party developers and rhyme with with you. You are a indie masterpiece, okay? Story heavy, no real fighting. It's more game, if you will. Um, but I mean, it's a great game, beautiful. I uh, this generation has seen some amazing indie titles that can literally stomp the shit out of the third party triple a games rhyme is one of those games unfortunately i think gearbox you were a little too ambitious when it came to this game because it's not just the switch version that has problems all of them have problems which is why i think this game you probably could have dumbed down a little bit and it would have been perfectly fine because the visuals are still the biggest reason to play this game. I'm not going to spoil it for you if you haven't played it yet. Um, just know that there's something that happens that I didn't even see coming. I knew I was getting close to the end. But I didn't realize that the whole thing was like completely different from what I thought. Going into Rhyme, you think one thing. By the end of Rhyme, you're thinking something completely different. And then the big picture is shown and you're like, this was not even close. Um, so on the level of... Is it a good game? Yes. Rhyme is a good game. Unfortunately, Gearbox, <laughs> your poorly ported Switch version of this game, and then the fact that I know that you went on to blame Nintendo and the inferior hardware in the Switch for the sorry port of Rhyme really hurt my opinion of this game and is one of the main reasons I haven't beat it on the Switch. Now, I have bought this game twice, Yes, I have a Switch version and a Xbox One version of both games. Yes, I paid for both of them because I wanted to play the fucking thing. So I came into Rhyme expecting a good game. I didn't realize how good of a game it was going to be. And when I say games like this, this isn't the first game. Rhyme is not the first game that's been like this that I've played. I played What Remains of Edith Finch, uh, Limbo, um, Limbo sequel, which is inside, I want to say. Uh, again, these are all kind of very heavily story art driven games uh, where there's more than just like running and gunning going on. Um, another game that's like uh, these only there's a little bit more going on because you're throwing paintballs is the Unfinished Swan. Very beautiful game. Uh, you're painting the world around you so you can find which way to go. It's a first person view game. But, I mean, again, these type of games, I see why they caught on because, honestly, looking at the games I've beaten now, I've beaten Rhyme, I've beat Tomb Raider Definitive Edition, I'm about to work on Resident Evil 2 Remake, um, I'm honestly not excited for shit coming out this year except for Final Fantasy 7 Remake, which comes out in April, so i got a little bit of time, which is why I guess I'm going through beating certain titles now, you know what I mean? I just started playing Fable 2, like, really heavily, about a week ago. This game's been out since the 360 and I'm just now getting to it because I just didn't care for how they handled the Fable Lost chapters. That really kind of turned me off to Fable for a while because I like Fable the first print. I thought that was a good game. I thought, hey, this is really nice. And then they went and did what they did with the Lost chapters and I get more people like that. I just didn't. Um, I've beat Halo 5. Gears of War 4, I'm uh, at the end of Gears of War 5. So, I mean, not a lot. You know what I'm saying? So, on the aspect of, like, is Rhyme a good game? It's a great game. It's one of the many games that I beat this generation when I don't have that many. But majority of them are this art story-driven type of game. You know what I mean? Yes, I beat Mario. Yes, I beat Zelda. But that's talking about Nintendo Switch. When we're talking about Xbox. We're talking about PS4. Rhyme, The Unfinished Swan, these are games I beat. You know what I'm saying? Limbo I have pretty close to the end of, and Inside I need to start because I've had those games for a while now. 
So we'll see what happens. Anyway, gearbox. It's a shame the shit with the Switch had to happen. Otherwise, I'd have been like, this is perfect for an art story driven game where you just want to go and explore the world. Very good game, but because of that bullshit, it kind of lowered you. You dig what I'm saying? So maybe your next game won't be um, as insane with the back and forth. Maybe we'll just put out a game and it'll be good because the soundtrack is amazing too. I got the soundtrack. Um, and like I said, I have two different versions of the same one game and it's not like the Switch version is just inferior because it's on Switch. It just has more glitches and everything in it because it's on Switch. They all have issues. So it is what it is. Um, if you want to play it, I think it's still on Game Pass. So if you have Game Pass, go download it, play it, enjoy, man. It's really one of the better indie titles that I've played this generation. So that being said...